Arnold often trained with 50 plus sets per workout. Serge Nubre was known for pumping a muscle for six to eight sets of 12 repetitions on six different exercises for that body part. And then moving on to another large muscle group and repeating the same thing. Sergio Oliva did marathon superset workouts with volumes and intensities that would make most gym goers pack it in and head home in the first 20 minutes. And many people who've aspired to look like them have attempted to replicate these workouts, most not being able to handle the sheer volume. And after just a few weeks or months, found themselves beat up and burnt out. Others not even being able to gut it out for more than a single session. But why were the bodybuilders back then all able to? not only consistently perform such high volume training this way, but to also thrive on such high volumes. And before the internet trolls can say it, yes, of course, PEDs were involved. But let me explain why that's not the answer. Today, 50 years later, bodybuilders are using more PEDs, higher amounts for longer periods of time, and compounds that weren't even around back then. Today, guys are relying on the anabolics to drive muscular changes and supporting it with diet second and training third. Back then, guys did the complete opposite. Training was the driver of muscle growth and then nutrition. And yes, anabolics were used to support that training stimulus. However, that doesn't mean that enhancements are a requirement to make progress in the gym. And as a natural, you should do the same thing, following the principle of training first. Focus first on training as a stimulus and support that training with proper nutrition to aid in muscle growth. But now, let's get back to the actual training and how they managed to do such high volume and why many claim it can't be done today. This comes down to one thing, intensity. Does the intensity match the volume and the frequency? When it comes to bodybuilding training, you have three variables that affect muscle growth and recovery, volume, intensity, and frequency. And in order to get the most out of your training, you have to balance all three. But due to the hardcore nature of bodybuilding today, many guys take the intensity as high as possible first, thus resulting in having to take the volume down and lower the frequency. All that just to be able to consistently train at such a high intensity. This is where you hear all of the bodybuilding dogma. You can't train body parts two times per week. You can't recover from more than three to four sets per exercise. More than one set is counterproductive. You can't train two large muscle groups in the same session. The list goes on. All these arguments stem from the fact that Bodybuilders assume that every set has to be max effort. But if you actually look back at how these guys trained, Arnold, Serge Nubre, Sergio Oliva, anyone from the pumping iron era, they were in fact pumping iron. They weren't training to failure and beyond and expecting to come back and repeat that same set seven more times. They were matching the intensity to the volume and frequency. Back then, you have to understand that the bodybuilding culture was different. The mentality was different. It wasn't about being hardcore. It wasn't about training a specific way because it got more attention on social media. Most of the training methods back then were derived from old time strength protocols. Think five sets of five. Anyone who trains with this method knows he has to be able to complete five sets of the same exercise for five repetitions. In order to complete all five sets, he must pick the correct load. Bodybuilders back then understood the need to increase volume if the goal was to train a bit more specific for muscle size. To do so, they opened up the reps and set ranges, taking five by five with a heavy load done for a total of 25 repetitions and turning into something like five sets of 10 for a total of 50 repetitions. Same amount of sets, but more total reps. Some bodybuilders going as high as eight sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. And then German volume training. This 10 by 10 method, it's actually been around since even before Arnold's time. But now obviously there are limits to this. As you add more sets and more reps, if the goal is to complete the workout with the same weight across all sets, the load must come down. And if your goal is muscle building, you can reasonably lower the weight from what you might use on a five by five. But if you have to lower it so much because you're trying to do something absurd, like 15 sets of 15, the weights used to complete all sets of 15 are gonna be so light that almost none of those sets are gonna be effective for muscle building. But here are some set and rep schemes that were fairly common back then to reach the high level of volume. Five by five with the same weight, although many will say this is a strength protocol, five by five with a heavy load is considered moderate volume by many strength athletes. And it's one of the best all around protocols to develop both strength and size. Five sets of 10 done with the same load. This is considered a pure hypertrophy set and rep protocol. Six sets of six and eight sets of eight. These were commonly used by guys like Vince Gironda and Larry Scott. And going even higher than that, you had guys like Serge Nubre doing eight sets of 12 repetitions. And regardless of which set and rep protocol you're using, keeping the intensity in check to match the volume 
is exactly how these guys recovered from training this way. And it's only when bodybuilders walk in the gym and insist on going to hell and back on that first set of 10. Let's say, there's no way I'm doing four more sets like this. But that's not the goal in volume training. The goal is to rack up as much effective training volume as you can while still balancing recovery. Now, the point of this video is not to say that more volume is better as there's diminishing returns to anything you do in the gym. But with any training protocol, if you're using a moderate to high volume and you're finding it harder to recover, saying things to yourself like, that's too much volume, I can't recover from more than that, I can't recover from more than five sets, 10 sets, 20 sets, whatever it may be. Make sure you're scaling the intensity and frequency to what's appropriate for that volume. And if you wanna build your physique using proven old school bodybuilding training methods, I highly suggest you check out my five day old school mass game program in the description below. And as always, if you guys wanna see more of the best original bodybuilding content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.